So I want to cover what we've gone over with Miss Piper. Um, she'll have the same skills in her toolbox as Mr. Wrigley. So this first exercise that we go over is relax on a mat. And what we want from our little cutie here is that she continues to go to increasingly relaxed body postures. Perfect. So this will really help her to perfect relax when we've got big emotions, a lot of anxiety or excitement or anything going on that might get us kind of stressed out. So we want her to be as relaxed as possible and start to utilize this in different scenarios. So we're using this in an easy peasy environment right here at a, an easy time of day. And then what we're going to look for is uh, to utilize this, let's say at 7 in the evening she gets uh, super excited. Or if we go to a dog friendly hotel, we got all sorts of new sounds um, that are going on, we can relax through that. And really anything that might come our way that we need to be able to work through. So this is a counter conditioning and desensitization exercise that will allow Miss Piper to work through anything coming uh, moving forward that might be a, a, a bit of a stressor for her so that she knows that she can relax herself. Good job, sweetie. So we're going to toss a treat off the mat here. Good job. Now we're going to go over our exercises with our clicker. So this first exercise um, or series of exercises is our name game exercises. First I'm going to take treats, drag them up towards my face. Piper, clicker and a treat. Piper, clicker and a treat. Then I'm just going to wait until she's distracted. Piper, wait for her to look at me and wait till she's distracted. Piper. Good, wait till she looks at me. Then I'm going to take a treat, drag it out to the side, make a distraction for her. Piper, she's got to be able to look at me even though she wants to look at the treat. Piper, very good. Then I'm going to take a treat, toss it over here on the ground. You missed it, here you go. <laughs> and you missed it, here's the big one. Piper, I'm going to wait till she focuses back in on me. I'm going to toss the treat. Piper, click her as soon as she focuses back in on me. Very good. And I always like to parlay that into some excellent recall. So, Piper, come. So, the reason that um, I like to parlay that into our recall is because she's so focused in with her name. And so, it's a great opportunity when we run through those exercises. Piper, come. To um, work through that uh, recall. So, she says, boom, I hone in. And then I'm going to come on over. So, very, very good, my sweet. Piper, sit. Piper, down. Piper, stay. Free. Very good. So you'll notice what we did there. We're actually working on the more difficult, challenging rendition of stay for her. So we're doing the rendition where we turn away from her and walk away the opposite direction. Um, she's done an excellent job. So typically, uh, I'll just back up with dogs when we're doing our stay, and that will be easier for her. And uh, when we turn our back in the dog and walk away, uh, good job, so it's, uh, it's much more challenging for them. And so we want to get to, to that point to where she'll just stay regardless of whatever she's doing. Um, Piper, stay. Free. Perfect. So regardless of whatever we're doing, uh, she'll just stay. So we can do it from a sit, do it from a down. Um, she is a, a, a real champion. She's doing great. Piper, touch. So we want Miss Piper to be able to um, target our hands so that we can position her wherever she needs to go. We've been using this a lot on our loose leash walking. So as soon as she uh, gets distracted or uh, gets ahead or behind, I'll just tell her touch, have her come up and touch, boom, get her positioned right by the side of my uh, leg here so that she knows this is exactly where we want her. So uh, it's just really an excellent way to get your dog positioned wherever you need them to go uh, via uh, the targeting exercise. Next, let's get a little bit closer here and leave it. Um, go over our leave it exercise, leave it, good, leave it, good. So this is actually a, a, a pretty big challenge for her, our leave it, she just gets super excited, and um, 
a little overzealous. And so it's excellent that she has the ability to pull back on that. Leave it. <laughs> Just kidding, uh, licking some treats off my hand. Uh, very good. So we have a stick here that she's able to leave it. So we're working with some different items. Try to get her comfortable to leave it regardless. Wipe her. Space. So this is our uh, space exercise where we want her to give us a little bubble around ourselves space. And so her jumping up has really started to taper off as uh, we spoke the other day. Piper, space. This has been a biggie, making sure she's not jumping on us from behind. Um, she's really stopped doing that when we are feeding her as well. So she's pretty much uh, tapered off on the jumping. And um, so we're working with other, other individuals as well. So she's coming up to them. Piper space. Very good. Uh, so this is a, a real biggie for our kid that we put a lot of time into. Space. And she's uh, giving us a sit, but and then also giving us about that uh, two foot bubble around ourselves. And that is exactly what we're looking for. So you are a little rock star, my lady. Um, she's really doing an excellent job, really come a long way. Um, so I'm going to get her leashed up and go over her loose leash walking.